What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? The course you know it's your boy Behind Radio <laughs> Shout in as always. I got my podcast partner off in this thing. OG Gangsta Wicked, aka Big Gallus here. Get on my field. What's going on with? Man, I'm in the building, man. It's kind of early, but you know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> I'm here with you. <laughs> I mean, so you mean to tell me three o'clock in the evening is early to you? Yeah, I just got in at 12. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about? I only came, I only came because of our guest today. I didn't come because of you. Oh, you know what? You are just the worst every time, okay? Our guest is an A-Town legend, a friend and family member of the show. Some know him as Slick Puller, but he's going by now Script Puller in this thing. Yeah, What's good man. with it, boss? Hey, man, everything's good. Hello, yeah, you know, we just brewing, letting it brew up. You exactly, feel me? Yeah. man. I mean, Script, talk to me, though, man. Since the last time we talked, I'm glad to see you still out here doing your thing and making it do what it's supposed to, mm-hmm. man. I mean, mm-hmm. you was coming home. Now you out here just ten toes down in the yeah. game. How's that been for you, boss? Hey, man, it's just been a... You know, constant grind, staying down, elevating, you know, you know, staying out the way and sticking to the, you know what I'm saying, sticking the to the script. You know exactly. what I'm saying? As we can see, man, it's getting fiery on both sides, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to walk that little narrow road, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Straighten up my face car, straighten up my iniquity tab, and you know yeah. what I'm saying? Make make people consider, you know what I'm saying? I can't just really just off the rip get you to jump on this, but I can tell you something that make that, um, that, but that can make you consider, exactly. think about what's going on, and also think about what you're doing. Then you got a decision. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah, so that's the move. You feel me? I mean, you know, we've been celebrating 50 years of hip-hop in this yeah. thing, though, Scrip. I mean, for you, man, how do you feel about hip-hop now versus how you was using it back then to how you're using it now to save souls? I mean, we can see, like, um, you know, hip-hop started out, like, from a griot perspective, mm-hmm. information. So when hip hop first started out, it was informative, and then you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, every time we start something, we start letting the um, vultures get in, the moochers who want to try to take something and just make it be about mooching, make it be about bread. So over time, it start turned to some subliminal agenda pushing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But see, the adversary he gonna come through them tunes. Yeah. See, it can sound good, but but what is feeding you? really could not be good, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. once that happened, we began with that phase. Now we're in a phase where, like, it's real crazy. And I so the 50 years of hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Um, we seen something start off beautiful, and now we're in a situation where it's like um, some resuscitation, some recovery needs to happen. Yeah. Because right now what's being pushed is not fruitful. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like it can't help you. Yeah. It can't. It can't save you. It can't really get you to nowhere where you want to be. You That's know what right. I'm saying? What's you know what I'm saying? You you gotta been done done something where you don't risk your life to even be hot now. Mm-hmm. You might can't even really get on if you ain't got a body now. My God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, it's terrible. First it just had to be some nice music. Now it got to be fight. Um, it got to be beach production and some yeah. and some and some suicide with it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Us, you might want to even be heard. My God. So now, for you, though, Scrip, you got new music out right now as we speak going crazy, man. I yeah, mean, Scrip yeah. to die. Scrip or die. Scrip or die. Yeah. Talk to me, man, putting that thing together. And what was it that made you call it Scrip or die? Because that's kind of like what it really is, whether a person wants to believe it or not. You know, when I read that code of ethics, you know what I'm saying? It's it's fruitful. It's the ways to live in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It showed me the all the things to watch out for, from, from from even some of the things I was talking about to you just then. Yeah. Also to what happened in the past and the what's to come. Mm-hmm. So it was like, really, man, if you ain't really if you ain't in them scrolls, you kind of blind to the um ills of this world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because this world as a whole, just like the movie, it's a matrix, and 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 and. It kind of decode that for you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But we don't got throw throw or throw with so many choices and so many debates about this and about that, and it even say that in the scrolls that it'll be debates about this and about that. That's how I know what's happening. Yeah, because it's saying it'll be debates about that. People are not gonna want to drink this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It say people will forsake this for what people call knowledge, yeah. what they think is knowledge, and that way that's how they gonna check out. That's how it's going to be their downfall because they're going to something what they think is knowledge. Yeah. And they're ignoring the fruit that's right before them. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So that's where we at with it, man. You got to be, 
Hey, man, the answers, man. You know what I'm saying? Either you're going to drink the water or you're going to be thirsty and then dehydrate. Exactly. Uh, Cuzzo, Spody, how's he doing, man? Yeah, man, he doing good all as well, all as okay. well with him. Mm-hmm. Okay, bet yeah. it up. Yeah. So answer me this, man, because I know both of y'all have had uh, stints in prison. Mm-hmm. How do you feel like that impacted your life? going in and out over these years, man. And what do you think has changed between the times that you found yourself going in and out to now to where you've been out being productive and moving the culture forward? I mean, the main thing that made me realize is um, the more you kind of go through situations like that, the less uh, the less what you say can be held valid until you start showing, you know what I'm yeah. saying, that you ain't rid of that no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like every time it's like, you building a um, you building a card for yourself yeah. every time. Boom, boom, boom. So now when you switch up off of that, you gotta um, you gotta shed them layers. Mm-hmm. You know, some people got you really gotta walk it and talk it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You really gotta walk it and talk. You really just gotta show something. You know what I'm saying? You really is about showing that you're not on that no more. You know, yeah. and 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 staying down and sticking to that. For those that's watching that want to make that change in their life, though, script. Mm-hmm. How the hell did they do it? What were the first steps that you took to change your life and turn that thing all the way around, sir? Well, should I start really seeing, um, as I was getting deep into the scrolls, I started really seeing what top chefing was mm. and what and what we call in top chefing is really bottom feeding. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Once I began to see, like, all the things that we was caught up in and we was putting first yeah. was actually trash. Mm. Mm. It was nothing. We, you know what I'm saying? You're not denying yourself or nothing. You're accepting everything. You let nothing get by you. You know what I'm saying? But you're talking about your top chefing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Top, you know what I'm saying? No standard, no code of ethics. But you're saying you do, but you're going for anything. You're going for anything and doing anything. Yeah. But then you're telling folks you got standards. Mm. Standards. Standing on something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, first of all, you got to re- um, first of all, you got to realize that. What you doing? You ain't talking about nothing. Yeah. That ain't talking about nothing, man. Your bottom fiend, man. Yeah. You think you, you think you're bigging it up, man. You're really shrimping it up, man. Your bottom fiend. You know that bottom. First, you got to realize that and really believe that, really accept that. Yeah. That, hey, man. A lot of stuff you doing, was you, you thought yeah. was a movie, was straight trash. Exactly. And then, then you have to say, okay, well, how can I get to the things where 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 um I'm reaching for something better? Mm-hmm. And then you got to analyze that and then start taking that route. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you think about your early days in hip hop, though, man, I mean, them CTE days, them Jeezy days, them musical days when y'all was, you know, tearing up the streets with some good ass music at the same time. How do you feel about that slick puller back then versus script puller today? What are the main differences between uh, him and you now? And what would you go back and tell young uh, slick? What would script go back and tell slick back then, man? Well, shoot, like I say, and. In them times, a lot of stuff was going on. Thought it was some top chef stuff uh, going on, but it really was some bottom fiend. Okay. But it was all to get me to where I'm at today, though. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the good and the bad for his will, yeah. as I said before. You know what I'm saying? And so, or what I would um, or tell myself then, but pay attention to more. You know what I'm saying? But see, you, but see, you really can't say what you tell yourself then because when you, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you in it, you survive. When you in it, you in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to step back and consider. Yeah. So sometimes when you out here doing what you're doing in life, sometimes step back and consider. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And step back and consider your ways. Is this really fruitful? Mm-hmm. Is this really helping? Like, 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 is this a good seed I'm dropping or is it a bad seed that I'm dropping? You got to really consider those things. That's the only way that's, um, you got to put your moral compass on. That's the only way you're going to really be able to really just see if you're doing something right or wrong. You got to sit back and look at your works. I mean, I got to ask this question, though, Skrill. Do you ever listen to any of your old music, or do you hate all that shit? I don't hate none of it. I don't hate, you know what I'm saying? I don't hate none of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because you had some shit, sir. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I look at it. I like what I do now, because guess what? Yeah. No cursing in it. Like, like, like not. uh, Now I know that I've really extended my vocabulary. Yeah. uh, 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 what the scrolls had done to me was make it be where I can say something and all of it makes sense. Like, like really, when you're throwing curse words in there, it's like, that's just a word to be in there. Like, I I really didn't know what to say. Yeah. It might have rhymed, but what does this word mean? So now what So now what the water doing to me now is every word that I'm saying is making sense. Mm. Every word. Yeah. 
every word. Like each line is now lining up to each line is lining up to something. Mm-hmm. It ain't like a part of there where I'm <coughs> just do something in there just to keep it going. You know no, what I'm saying? I'm with you. Everything I'm with you. lining up now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But see, he got me doing that. Y'all got me doing that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? At first, you know, you be flowing there a little bit, then you just throw something in it to keep it going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, first thing you know is the person who probably listening to it, he in the same mode. He just going with it too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I can drop something in there and and have somebody going, and then one day they'll be, you know what I'm saying? Even if they're not listening, we coming on the kind of beats where they're like this, and, and, and then they get to listen. Hold on, man. Hold on, just said. You know what I'm saying? You dropping mm. seeds, so, you know what I'm saying? You really teaching them. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We get in here because I can tell yeah. you just couldn't wait. Well, I'm listening to him, and I don't know if I'm older than him or not. I'm well. I ain't gonna say my age. Yes, you is, nigga. But uh, this is what I want to say to you, and uh, after I'm through with it, you follow me for a minute and YouTube be high. As coming from a child of a a preacher, my mother is evangelist. Yeah. Um, so I had a lot of different ideologies growing up mm-hmm. on what I thought was right, what I thought was wrong, what I thought was positive, what I thought was negative. Mm-hmm. I will say this to you. Your past positive and negative energy don't exist without each other. Night and day don't exist without each other. On and off don't exist without each other. I would say your past... And your present, your 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 past, your present needed it, so mm-hmm. they never run away from it. Mm-hmm. I said this to um, uh, to your boy when we was up here with uh, Andre uh, Andre and um, Big D. Big no 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 uh, Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega. He was yeah. saying the same thing. I said that your past is necessary because th- you have to talk that past. You have to speak that past. Exists not a runner from it because a lot of people that live in your past now. And your your present now will bring them out of that past. Mm-hmm. So I, I hear when he asks you about, you know what I'm saying, your old music and, and where you came from, it's kinda almost like like I that's the part I wanted to hear. See, Beehive wants to hear now, you know, a lot of people want to hear what's going on right now with you, mm-hmm. where you come from. But I want to hear like it was, what was it, uh, you know, back then, what was that like, and how did you get here? Because maybe I'm still back there where you at, mm-hmm. and I need you to guide me up out of it. Mm-hmm. So I say that to just say that, you know, and I said that for Megan. That's all yeah. I was trying to get, because, you know, I was calling my lead. Yeah. So I was. I say that to say that, you know, when somebody asks you about that past, uh, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to dwell on it. I'm not doing music right now while I say, you know, I'm running up the car, still selling dimes, or, or you know, I'm, I'm still, we tying folks up, or we, you know, we still in out the store and we're in the fifth and sixth grade. Mm-hmm. We're not doing that anymore. But my son is. Mm-hmm. And, and he can identify with a slick pull of where you have come from. So now I can use your story as an example. He may not listen to me, but he listens to you. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I can say, look, see, this is where slick came from right here. See, he's, te- he's, te- he's telling us this word. Everything that I'm telling you, the guy that you look up to, he's telling you the same thing right now. Mm-hmm. But if you run away from that message right now, because of where you think you are now, you let a lot of people down that needed to hear it. Right. Right. I did exactly what you're saying. And see, that's what the message is all in the music. Mm-hmm. See, 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 I'm talking about the past. I'm not just talking from a, a point because see, I'm urban, you know, you know, so I'm urban, urban serving. serving with it. Yeah. Right. So meaning... I'm talking it from a trench perspective. Like, okay. um, used to be a slickster, now they call me script me. Right. You know mm, what I'm saying? Right. Like, 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 I'm letting it be known that I used to do that. I had to shed it off. Mm-hmm. That old skin had to scrub it off. Mm-hmm. See, it's all about Boss. refinement. Right. It's all about refinement. You just got to tune in. Right. 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 But also, you got to put that old man on that, you got to put that old man on that altar all the way. That's right. Mm. Like, meaning, like, like he said he want a whole burnt offering, meaning let that old man die. Mm. He's saying, see, 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 people thinking about some meat. He's talking about, uh, he won't say whole burnt offering, meaning I want you to put that whole man up there, that whole old man up there and burn him off. I want none of him. So that's why a lot of times I don't really do much talking about it. Mm-hmm. When you tune in and listen to the music, then that's when you can get those gems. Mm-hmm. If you're mm-hmm. really seeking that, then, hey, seek the, you know, you know what I'm saying, seek the vibe. It's the same mm-hmm. kind of beats. Yeah. Same kind of love, you know what I'm saying? Instead of spinning with slurs, we spinning with love now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We hitting, we hitting them with the manta ray. So, see, you got to put the whole burnt offering on there. So, reason why a lot of times I just, 
I speak on it, and then I let the walk, because everybody know who I am. Right. You know, so everybody know what I was about and what I would do. So mm -hmm. I just try to just really walk it. You know what I'm saying? More than anything. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I don't, but, but my whole thing, that whole man got to go up there. Mm -hmm. So like if the whole man go up there, if I put the whole man on the fire, what I'm reaching back in the fire for um grabbing remains of him. Mm. Okay. He he wants yeah. a whole burn off for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well now both of y'all just snapped and I enjoyed it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, you, you know, know me behind. I, my, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm more into when I talk to people. Well, hold on, I hate to cut y'all, but I deal with the same shit out of him. Script, okay? Mm -hmm. You know him as Wicked the Ghetto Mafia. Yeah. Well, I have to deal with Galaxy Wicked every platform day. Platform Okay. He, he didn't, he didn't change his whole damn name. Uh, I enjoy the Ghetto Mafia music. He tells me to go to hell. You're getting this Galaxy music that I'm about to give your ass right now. Right. So he totally identifies with what the hell you talking about. <laughs> right. But I'm tired of both of y'all shit. <laughs> give me the whole shit back. <laughs> yeah, he just, he, just, he just talked about the day right before you came and stuff. And I and I do the same thing that you know mm. that uh, that kind of you doing. But I I try to to understand what Bha just saying and 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 lots of other people. I say, well, you know what, I can't. You know, just you know, go run in a corner and hide, or you know, what I'm saying hide behind matching walls with a Bible. When there's people out here that needed to hear, you know, what I'm saying wicked instead of the new galaxy stuff. Uh, I have to trick my son into taking his vegetables by getting him food that's bad for him. You know, what I'm saying so. Um, my thing is, I just don't want you to get into a point to where now, now you're you're detached. Uh, from the from the from the people that used to be you, I know you're building a, a you, you're running with a whole new circle of people, mm -hmm. but and a circle uh, and I, I, an ideology. I don't even want to say people in the physical form, but the ideology that you're running with, because that's all it really is. Well, see, also, and I hate to cut you off so bad, Wick, but at the ages we at now, the stuff, the slick that was running the streets, cranking stuff up, a lot of these jokers weren't even born. Right. So they don't have a clue. They, they'll they just see you as somebody that's preaching to them, and then they got to do the research. But we try to use this platform so that you can readily identify with them folks. They can come on in, and we can convert them over to what you got going on now. It, exactly, Dennis. And then actually, it's not about just talking it in their head. Like 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 with my elect functional training, you you know, I do strength and conditioning for youth for youth athletes, so I'm in high schools and middle yeah. schools mm -hmm. all day long. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not anywhere saying, hey, do this and do that. I'm walking it. Walk exactly. it yeah. I'm walking it. When folk can see, hey, man, why bro move like this? Why bro move like this? Then it makes them consider. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I know that's not how you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not how it's supposed to be given. The, the instructions won't even to give it like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what, see, 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 see religion was to give it like that. Mm -hmm. He like, let your light shine. Mm -hmm. Meaning, how am I let it shine? Covered up in the house. He said, don't put a shade on the light. So, like, I'm out and about moving peacefully, not doing none of the things that I used to do. Yeah. That'll make a person consider, dog, oh, man, Coach Script, cool. Yeah. Um, especially when they be like, hey, man, you know, that used to be slick. Who yeah. Coach Script? That used to be slick. And then they look, oh, man. Yeah. It's inspiration. I'm up at Kip High School, like, two or three times out of the week. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You've... I focus on training youth athletes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like strength and conditioning for youth athletes. I have adult clients as well, yeah. but most of my clients are youth athletes. They <laughs> exactly. play football, they play basketball, because the style of training I do, it gives you where you can do the movements fluently on mm -hmm. the football field or the basketball court. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. What was it that made you get into physical training? Well, shoot, once I had started working out, um, I just loved it. I went and got my certification. Yeah. You know what I'm I got my certification before I had did that um, what? I had about like seven years, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And then, and, and then, hey, you know what I'm saying, just stayed with it, came home, we turned up that FDL compound, shouts out to my comrade Frederico on the FDL compound. Yeah. He like, this year home, I've been there ever since I came home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, Sundays, we meet up at Kip. I trained some of the guys in the weight room up there, shots out to Kip. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shots out to Principal Mathis, Coach so. G and all those guys, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, that's how we do, you know what I'm saying? Supporting with a positive. You know what I'm saying? Supporting them with a positive, you know what I'm saying, move. Exactly. Did you, did you, um, you know, during your transformation, because uh, this happened to me, and I'm not going, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm B high. You know what I'm saying? Oh, as far please. as my life goes, I'm not a professor. And, no, you know, I'm just guy. over here but trying to I stay lost, out the shit. But I lost a lot of friends that I thought was partners of mine mm -hmm. when I started to kind of change and say, you know what? I'm going to go this path right here. You know, we all on the same path at first, but then I said, you know, this path getting old. It's rocky. It's, 
you know, I'm going to go this way right here. And because of that, I lost a lot of mm-hmm. friends. Did you lose some close people to you? And I ain't mean it in the in the physical loss, what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? That that you saw, you know what? Maybe they weren't meant to be on this journey with me. You know, who I start this journey mm-hmm. with is, is looking like I'm not going to end it with these same people. Mm-hmm. And, and how did that affect you knowing that some of the people you started with that you thought, because we all thought that, mm-hmm. you know, that, 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 hey, this is my homie or this is my girl or this person here. They're going to be on this journey with me. But then mm-hmm. when you when you pivot it to where you are today, you lost them. Yeah, I look at it like this. Um, and that happened. But I look at it like this. If, um, you know, you can't please man. Mm-hmm. If I would have stayed the same way and got locked up again, then those same people would call me stupid. Mm-hmm. So I would have just do this then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You want the old person, but every time the old person, you know what I'm saying, the old person get in trouble or whatever, you you gonna talk about behind my back, man. I don't stoop, man. I don't keep on getting jammed up. Yeah. So I rather you talk about me for doing this than talk about exactly. me for that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Some stuff is just a quick decision on. You know what I'm saying? I know that I'm not gonna please man. Yeah. Somebody's gonna always have something to say whether I'm doing the good thing or the bad thing. Somebody gonna always have something to say. That's another thing you I had to let go because it used to be a point in my life when I would try to go around and control what somebody would say about me sometimes. Uh, and that would be on a pull-up maneuver or like in an aggressive way. And then after you'd have been undead, that somebody's still saying something anyway. Right. You're going to fight the world? Right. No way. Right. What you're going to do is, um, you know what I'm saying, just <laughs> keep pushing. You know, so I'd rather have somebody say, say something bad about me for doing something good now as opposed to, Hey man, home, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Having something bad to say about me for doing something bad. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you do, know what I'm saying? Do you think that and I already know the answer to this, uh, but I never I always uh I've learned to when I ask questions, I don't ask them for the people that's here because we pretty much kinda know I ask them for people that don't know. Right. So this may be stupid to you, but uh to a lot of people and I always say that uh when you talk about working out, mm-hmm. to me working out sharpens your mind to be able to do other things. And I ain't talking about physical stuff. I'm talking mm-hmm. about mental things yeah. also. Yeah. Uh, do you Would you agree with that or, or not? And if so, you I know, tell the people. I definitely agree with that. Um, it, it's all, um, you know, mind, body, and spirit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So we're all... But coincides with each other, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, so mm-hmm. I definitely agree with that. It get, it, it's all about discipline, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you're getting your regimen together, you know, you're getting your body together, you're getting your mind together, you're getting your spirit together, then you are executing, you're moving efficiently through out here, you know, you got a good smile on your face, you're letting some light shine, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You do it again, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's about work, it's about tilling. That's what the job was about, work, not working, breaking your back for these folk, but mm-hmm. it was about like getting out here with your people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like how you said, not head up, so mm-hmm. we're talking from a that would, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Talking from a higher perspective, the, the um, order was given for man to go out amongst them rocky terrains, the mm-hmm. bitter waters, mm-hmm. and get out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get out there where somebody might be like, hey, boy, get up out my face. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. there in the trenches. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Well, somebody might get mad by what you're talking about and actually requ- request you to get out their face. Right. You know? But right. then how do, you, how do you show them that you're for real? Nothing but some love to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't go where they with it, and then they can be like, most people are always, we always used to reacting to each other in that kind of way. Somebody got to be a person who, when they get like that, turn away. Right. Then you then you really get that man something to consider because you didn't meet that aggression, so that's something. Hey, man, home might be on something different for real now. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? Because if we, if I came trying to tell you something good and then we got into a um, situation about it, and I end up, we we end up fighting or getting on some, then mm-hmm. how have I proved that I changed? Absolutely. Absolutely. See, the reaction would be, you know what, bro, big love to you, and walk away. Then. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. if I do it, then I just did what, I just did what I'm telling him don't do. Yeah. Gro- gro- growth is um, um, not swinging on somebody who deserves to be swung on. Every day I'm in here with him. <laughs> Every day I'm in here with that him. That shows my growth. And, it, and I'm big as hell <laughs> because of my growth. Okay. Uh, the time at CTE, though, Scrip, what do you feel like y'all delivered towards 50 years of hip-hop, man? And I don't care how you feel about it. I just want to know what your thoughts is about that movement, what y'all were doing, and how it coincides with 50 years of hip hop and the impact that y'all made. I mean, I feel like um, demonstration marketing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Marketing, you know what I'm saying? The way it was, um, you know. Presented. 
I mean, as far as like down here, only person who had probably done something different like that may have been like Master P, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as like mm-hmm. out with the people, and they, and then they go right there and they really got their stuff in their hand to hand with it, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm course. saying? That I think we kind of brought that vibe here. Like, like, like after that, then you would see everybody kind of out there with their stuff like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. At first, it was another kind of way at first. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, guerrilla marketing, yeah, um, from a you know what I'm saying. As far as in Atlanta, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because it had been getting done down south. Like, you know, you had Scarface doing kind of doing what we was doing yeah. way back then. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Them boys out the trunk with it and um, hand in hand with the people. With the, but as far as Atlanta, the way to get on was a different kind of way until we just kind of, we knew that we was a little rough around the edges. So we knew we yeah. was going to have to kind of do it that way. We weren't going to just get in there like that. No way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not with the subject matter at that time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But out there, you know what I'm saying? Like that right now. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. When you do when you when you in the midst of a run like that, um, the the slip puller, th- you know, at that time, say, you know what? Uh, are you thinking at the time? This this ain't really me. I, I I know. Eventually, I'm gonna pivot from this, or at that moment, are you sold out? You know, and then there's an epiphany at a at a time that you say, you know what? Man, I'm tripping. At that moment, I was um. Uh... Straight out there with it, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I I wasn't thinking like, like, you know what I'm saying. It would be a um, curve. It had to um get, uh, keep getting that head bump. That's when the pick boom, yeah, p- gotcha. epiphany. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And then had to do another r- realization that things didn't go that way because that what because that wasn't what it was meant to be. Mm. You know what I'm saying. Cause um, if you look back and look at the old me then, like 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 you could compare that to any one of these young young guys now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He had his hand on me because I was very hot tempered. Mm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So like, you know, situation what happened with the bro- um what happened with the young, you know what I'm saying, brother Vaughn, like like that could have been me. I I slapped the dude down there at sliced pizza, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and got shot in the leg. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He was talking about come to the car, whoop the whoop, got a CD for him, I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't go to the car, called brother him, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know this dude, and I don't know him. They he, they're walking away at this point because they said they had done some songs with some people. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm calling to get verification. They see that that the lie is about to unfold, so they walking away. I actually told them for, hey, come here. So what y'all trying some slick robbing stuff? Then slap the man. Mm. But really, they was walking away. I could just went on, went on. Right. They knew the lie was right, about right. to be unfolded, so I right. could have just let them folk. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? I could have just let them go on and go. That's why I'm saying that's why the old man had to get put on the altar for stuff like that. And that's the story that some of the kids need right, to hear. Right, right, yeah. I, that I we can't, that we can't, let we can't folks keep on going. It. Yeah. And they walked off once they saw the lie was about to be exposed. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, come here. You're trying some slick rum because y'all trying to get me to come into the car with this, you know, yeah. to listen to the CD. Two of y'all in the car. You ain't finna them go. I know the move. You finna go for the weave. Yeah. And dude finna put the tool on me. And I finna be him wrestling with y'all with a pistol in a close space. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get popped in the stomach. Where, where else you gonna get shot with a gun that when you wrestling in the car, I'm gonna get popped in the mm-hmm. stomach. Yeah. But then I still brought that danger back when I'm like, hey, come in. When I start, dude, dude step back, whipped out. Yeah. So now I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I was on um, intense probation at the time. So I had to be, you know what I'm saying, be in the house at 7 o'clock. So boom, I'm trying to, <clears throat> when, when I see that, boom, that thing, you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? But really, that could have all been in the back. When, when he whipped out, we was really like this far apart from each yeah. other. How did I not get shot up in the back? Mm. That that was him. So when you go, so I go back and flash back on things and then I'm like, hold on, so this is what it was for. Yeah, you, you had a call and yeah. you had a, done, a bit high purpose. It, let the back get wet up, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying that to say, like, if if I would have stayed the same, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Wow. Because I was hot tempered. See, that was my thing. Hot tempered. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They said what? Let go. They they said what? You know what I'm saying? If if conversations ain't going good, hey man, well let's just go on and hey, we ain't really gotta do all this talking. Let's just go on and let's just go on and hit or whatever. Let's do whatever then. Whoever comes out triumphant on that end was right, mm-hmm. which that doesn't mean anything. Right, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that was my mind state. See, that was a suicidal mind state. Yeah. It was going to happen. Either it was going to keep being the box or it was going to be dead. Mm. Do you feel like it was the streets that was causing that or hip-hop that was causing you to be involved in that? 
What, what, like to have that mind state? Well, to just keep on finding yourself in instances where you having to slap folks and, you know, you getting into it with people. If you weren't involved in music, would you have still been getting into it with folks or would you just been out here just getting it in how you would have been getting it in? Uh, I don't know. It seems like when you're dealing with a, um, music in the street, Rap in the streets kind of the same thing. You you okay. gonna kind of still be around, you know what I'm saying? Depending on what kind of rap, I ain't, I ain't gonna say all rap. Depending on what kind of music you're doing, the kind of music we was doing, you gonna still be around them same kind of folks, which you would be around with in the street. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna, if you're in the streets, you're not gonna just be able to um have a um peaceful run. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen a guy do that, like because that's not the kind of people that's in that era. That's not the kind of people that's in that profession. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to put it down one or two times, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For folk to know that it's... Don't not go over there and try with. to um, hit their spot or exactly. try to do this. You're going to have to you're gonna have to go there a couple times. Yeah. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Are you going to have to be willing to? So, boom, you've already signed yourself up for, for um, death right then. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Because that that action to show that you're not going for that is not going to check out well with him. So you still lined yourself up for some kind of stain on you, you know what I'm saying? An iniquity tab. You you building it up. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's certain stuff that come with that, man. The street, you know what I'm saying? That's the dog. You know what I'm saying? Just like That's how the, you were saying, the light the dog. Yeah. His pre- on the moon. His presence is out at nighttime, but it's much it's much dimmer than in the daylight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So meaning like at nighttime. So when you're moving around in the dark, he with you, but he just not as much as with you as if he was moving in a good manner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a presence in the dog. Yeah. He there because he love you. Mm-hmm. But he could be with you all the way if you would walk around in the daylight. Exactly. Mm-hmm. His presence is much, much more exactly. with you then. He would just want me doing dumb stuff. He just not there with you all the way. Meaning so if he ain't there with you all the way, during them times when he not there with you all the, all the way, anything can happen to you. Mm. You can get knocked off. Cause he ain't there with you all the way. How do you feel <laughs> being alive to tell your story, man? Because I mean, a lot of people didn't make it. Uh, we've been having a conversation. A lot of the artists that came out in the twenty tens didn't even make it out of the twenty tens into the twenty twenties. Yeah, I mean, and then a lot of folks started passing in the twenty twenties. So yeah, since I've been home, a lot of my comrades, you know, what I'm saying a lot of my friends have passed, man. Yeah, it's been real, man. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a um, sad thing. That's why I just you know what I'm saying I pray for my. I pray for my people all the time, man. Let's come on and let's, um, you know, get, uh, get with what can really bring us life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get with what can bring us life. We're going to try a lot of things. We, we haven't collectively tried this. Yeah. And the reason why we haven't collectively tried it because people have brought people have brought a stain to it with, um, with, with, with man-made ordinances, mm-hmm. with man-made doctrines. Yeah. That that had nothing to do with what was even in there. A lot of stuff with folk come with that. You um when you get the ring in there, you'll see that man home with tripping. It don't even say that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It don't even say that in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now we see that man doc man made doctrines and man made ordinances have put a stain on it, so we run away from it. Yeah. But so but then actually what's crazy about that, we running away from something due to man uh, due to what man made ordinances other nations put on it. But when we run away from life, we're running to death. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it's a it's a um it's a hurtful scenario when you when I sit back and I analyze stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say um just moving correctly. You know what I'm saying? Showing that hey man, there's somebody who was out there with all that salt, those same things. I just pray that that's enough to get people to consider. Yeah. The mindset, though, waking up every day like that during those times when you was a young slick puller, what is the mindset of that guy for somebody that don't even understand? They would just say, why is he acting a fool? Why is he so mad? Why is he slapping folks? Why is he doing this? Why are you doing that? What is going through that guy's mind that who, causes... Who doing it? Yeah, the, the, the young slick that's cutting up during that time. What was his state of mind? I know it was a young man's mind because he ain't the man we got now. But what were the other things that you think contributed to that anger and that fury that you gave to them folks when you had to put it down? Really, man, it's like it's, it's what you open yourself up to. At that point, you 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 know what I'm saying? You're walking around in the day, but you're walking around in the dark. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you really, when you behaving like that, that's really a whole, that's a whole nother thing sitting on the seat of your emotions. You got a dark, um, you got a spirit of anger. That's a spirit. Mm. You got a spirit of anger sitting on the seat of your emotions. Mm -hmm. So, Woo! so you being, so, so actually you're being ran by the adversary at that point. You're the vessel for the negative yeah, yeah, energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you're a vessel for the spirit of anger. See, that's mm -hmm. not an emotion. That's a spirit. You got a spirit of anger, a spirit of rebellion. See, we call them emotions, but they're really spirits. Mm -hmm. Emotions. But see, even when you look at the word like that, emotions, that's what's putting you in motion. Mm -hmm. So anger is, so, so, you're, so you're in motion by a spirit of anger. Mm. It's a spirit, but, all, but, but anger and all that stuff come from the adversary. So that means the adversary running you at that point. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on. Yeah. You've been a vessel for the adversary. Mm -hmm. and, and and that's why you're angry, and he's going to lead you to situations where you can get killed or go to chain gang and get killed yeah. or go in there and die. See, mm -hmm. see, 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 anger comes from the adversary. He wants to kill you. Mm. So I'm going to just constantly, you're going to run around and be mad. You're going to always be in a situation where hopefully you get your head bust or hopefully you be in the box and you, either you die in there or you get stabbed up in there, one or the other. Mm. Win for the adversary. Because yeah. I took one of them children to light and, and um, guided them to the dark. They gone now. As they say, one for that team. Mm. Mm. Wow. One for the team of the adversary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? What the hell did you have to do to get that spirit of anger up off you? You, you got... Um, you, you gotta drink the water. Okay. You gotta drink that yakwa. <laughs> that yakwa. You gotta drink that yakwa. That water. <laughs> you gotta drink that yakwa. That's on. That's what cleans as a man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now when you talk about that yakwa, I mean, I gotta go into that yah ballot there, man. I mean, break that down to me when you start oh, putting yeah, that yah in there. Oh yeah, that yah ballot. That's when I did with the um young guy Tiz, man. Two and ten sounds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A little cool young guy, man. We um got in and um he was coming with them nice little samples like he um he a freak that troop. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And, and that's why I call it Yacht Ballad because the vibes of the songs is like that. You know what uh, I'm saying? Ballad, so yeah. is it really me just saying the song? Is Yacht Ballad really just saying what Yacht has done for me? You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it's my it's my ballad to him, dedicated to him. Thank you for, you know what I'm saying? Can you give him. me a testimony of what Yacht did for you when you felt like you might not have deserved it or you might have been in the wrong place at the wrong time and Yacht showed up and showed out? Well, that one situation what I was telling you right there now. Yeah. The um, he showed up and showed up right now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He showed up and showed up when he let me um wake up and move around despite the things that I've done in the past, despite yeah. the iniquity tab. He showed up and showed up and gave me a chance to clear the slate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Strain your tab out, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. During that time early on, though, in hip hop, were y'all able to do some positive things that you do look back on and you say, you know what, that was a positive ass day we had. And you know what, I'm proud that during that time, with all of that influence that I had, okay. we were able to do that. One of the most positive day, matter of fact, after after that stuff had happened, um, at, um, I'm up there on Peter Street, what I was telling you about, the um, when they took me to the hospital, um, officer. Was like um, he, you know, what I'm saying I told him what happened, whatever. He wasn't satisfied with, with, with what happened, so they charged me with simple battery, mm. cause I slapped the dude. So they locked me up while I was shot, you know, what I'm saying I got locked up. But 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 what was crazy? We had to go up to a high school, and um, I I think um, we we was up there at high school or something. But I saw that officer. Yeah. And um, he was looking crazy, like <laughs> <laughs> like dog man. I did home kind of um dirty, dirty, but right he doing something positive. But man, a lot of time man, 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 real spill during that time, and it was a lot of drama. It, it, it was always something. Yeah. Now that was a good day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, man. A lot of days it was like, you know what I'm saying, it was like trench life. You yeah. know what I'm saying, man. It was a lot of days because it was once again you reacting all the time about what somebody said. So somebody always calling your phone with what they heard somebody say mm -hmm. or what home them talking about. Yeah. So every day is really like. Soldier Day, yeah, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. It wasn't really like a rap career, you know. What I'm saying? It wasn't really like a rap career. It was really like a um tour, <laughs> a tour duty. Yeah, for negativity though, you know what I'm right. saying. Yeah, like every day somebody calling the phone like, hey, boy, I don't know, I'm talking about this, or then you looking at a thing and people talk, you know what I'm saying. If you okay, then these folks saying this, um, home ain't really about our slapping. You know what I'm saying? If if somebody looking at the comment of your app, you know what I'm yeah. saying, under your mixtapes and all that stuff, ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying. So you. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like you you always on the radar trying to deal with that all day long. That it, it was really kind of stressful. You know what I'm saying? Not the show. You know what I'm saying? Them them few mo- moments of good is up there on the stage. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's when you free right out the stage. And it's back to the drama. Yeah. It was drama, you know what I'm saying? To me, that's how I feel. It's a lot of drama. When I look back on just a lot of drama, always somebody saying something. And yeah. Somebody saying this and somebody saying that. And I think they had it uh, be high. Mm-hmm. I think that, you know, his generation of, of rappers, he's on the cuffs of right when the internet is started hitting so people had access to them. Yeah. See, when I was out in the, in 96, we didn't have no YouTube. We didn't have no Instagram. We didn't have no Facebook mm-hmm. and that. So it was hard for people to p- catch me or pin me down mm-hmm. or for me to see a comment for a nigga calling me a fuck nigga or something. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? But I think that, you know, they were victims of, of the internet really just um, – open them up to the world mm-hmm. and that there is you know that's a that's a different thing that I had to go through so when, when I hear them talking about that now I, I kind of understand a little bit more now mm-hmm. but but I'm an OG now so I really don't get the same I can only imagine what y'all was going through with yeah. it with people being able to because if people yeah, could touch were... me when I was 21 and 22 yeah with with my first couple of albums yeah I might not be here behind you. You understand yeah, you what I'm saying? You ain't even getting tracked that much in the street. Like, yeah. like, like you ain't even getting tracked that much in the streets. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, but not, you know what I'm saying? So, so it was always, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, say somebody was always saying something or somebody calling your phone talking about what somebody didn't see. Yeah, you know, yeah. All that. So, man, it was like, and so, like I told you, then I was, you know what I'm saying? Hey, so, hey, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm running myself ragged trying to make people shut up and they're not going to shut up. Yeah. They're not. <laughs> They're not gonna stop. It's consuming with the good stuff. Behind the yep. time, man, you sit here talking about. I'd be like, man, if that nigga send me one more, th- he loves my music. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I'm a, you're right. So just imagine them <laughs> getting that on, you know, on the negative end. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody send them something, man. Hey, man, when you come to Cincinnati, yeah. it, it's on. Yeah. On site when I see you in Alabama, you know. Yeah. So. Oh, bro, I can I that that might have drove drove me crazy back then. Have to go through that. And see now what you saying now? You saying the end result? What you saying is that now it's on steroids now. Yeah, mm. it's like you you it's like that's why I was saying over the phase of the um fifty years of hip hop is done turned to like um it it, it, it done, you know what I'm saying it's kind of kind of messed up right now. Exactly. Mm. Uh, Jeezy dropped the album. I might forgive, but I don't forget. He mentioned everybody except for Slick Puller. So my question would be, what it was y'all relationship like to where he ain't got no problem with you? Um, I mean, I was kind of, you know what I'm saying? Because what I was willing, um, because if anybody can really analyze it, anybody, like, I didn't do nothing flaw. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, with, with, with um, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I kind of have distanced myself away from a lot of that stuff. Yeah. I really don't know why, you know what I'm saying? But I know I know my actions in my heart. Mm-hmm. I can't say why he said something about this person or why he didn't say something about me. Yeah. All I know is I let my fruits bear, you yeah. know what I'm saying, even in a negative standpoint. So, hey, you see what I'm saying? Because yeah. everybody is got their own, you know what I'm saying, feelings and how they moving on things. So I really don't know why this and why that. And then it's your job and, to try to figure it right, out right, either I sometimes. I really ain't going to try to figure it out. Right. I just know, hey, man, when I was around, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do y'all ever have any situations to where folks want to reunite and go on tours and do the music? And would you be good with performing some of that old slick music, man? Or is that just something that ain't going to Is happen? there a price? No. Nah, nah, it's not really. a price? It really ain't no price because the people who I have touched with what I'm doing now, I let them down. Mm. Well, that's that, that's the price. That's the price well, why, why you them, won't do it. No, no, because what if I done got somebody to really start getting on the light? You mm-hmm, know what I'm saying? Really yeah. drinking the yakua. Mm-hmm. Now they see me back on stage talking about what I was talking about. That'll actually send somebody possibly. One thing it's going to do is do what I said has made people not want to drink the Yaku. Mm. Uh, people pump faking. Yeah. People pump scripting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> pump scripting going left. <laughs> so that's one thing it's going to do. It's going to turn somebody away from it. Mm-hmm. See, I knew it was a... Yeah. I knew it wasn't real. Yeah. Let me go mm. on back and do what I was doing. And and when in actuality, when when that could have been done correctly... Slip, why we can't do both of them? Why, what, 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 see, that, that's why it goes see, back to what I was trying to see, tell you earlier we about well, well, positive why, and negative well, energy, they go why, hand in hand. Well, see, the reason why I can't do both of them, because I'm not no lukewarm kind of dude. See, the kind of dude I am, when, when I'm good, I'm good. 
Mm-hmm. That's why I stay good. God, see, I feel see, I ain't never you know no, you. You know you. I ain't never been no person who halfway played well, with so basically. He, he said he can't be five feet, five toes in, five toes out. Right. Either he gonna be in, yeah, or he gonna be out. And that's yeah. how I was with everything I've done in life. So I, I'm. I'm not no lukewarm guy. I feel you. Whatever I'm on, I'm on. I'ma stand on it. So I I'm gonna stand on this. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even if it's a small few of people, yeah, it's means of people who like that and like that, but even if it's a small few who wanna drink this yakua because they say they rejoice in the Shemayam over one mm-hmm. who sip on that yakua. Yeah. So even if it's five folk liking this mm-hmm. and, and, and hundred folks want me to do that, I'ma stay rocking with them five because mm-hmm. them five people who wanna live. Yeah, absolutely. You see what I'm saying? I understand exactly what you're saying. I just, I just, I put it out there for people. I never assume that everybody understands what you're talking about or what you're thinking. Right. So that's why I ask questions, even though I may know the answer I to dig it. it. I dig but it. that is, a, but, I, and I needed to hear that. I'm the same way. I'm, I'm, you know, it's hard for me to kind of play both sides up because I'm so loyal to whatever I'm doing at the time. Yeah. So therefore, when we go back to when you asked me about, the, you know, to get on my few music, I do feel uncomfortable doing it. Yeah. When I'm sitting there telling my son not to do the, some of these same things, I get right on stage rapping about it. Yeah. Or when I'm telling my mother I have been delivered from that. Yeah. And then to, and, and B High is on this side of it. He pulled me from it. Yeah. And then I'm right on stage then dragging me back you into with, it. Dragging then you right me back, back with into me. the damn street. Because so I done like, like man the nigga in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wick, for ruining and he me. Ran, and he ran. I'll, he ran. I'll, <laughs> <laughs> See, he always hated on me, too. <laughs> but yeah. see, yeah, he always. But screw. I, I gotta ask you this though, man. Because see, when you look at the artists that we lost, though, man, when you started to see a lot of people start to pass in the game, how did that make you feel? Being that you was in hip hop doing a dangerous ass time yourself, but it wasn't as many people, you know, passing away in the middle of the game as it was, you know, more recently in hip hop. How did you feel about that? Um, I. Really, sometimes I look at that stuff and I be like, "This the, the um, all the um mm. eggs and negativity has hatched mm. because we already know during that era it it's a um um the way that's um, way certain situations went down it starts setting the um the table. it starts setting the um platelet for yeah. how for um how rap was supposed to be done from that point on. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. So people follow the plate, uh, um, platelet. Uh, w- w- am I saying the word correctly? Platelet or uh, palate or w- yeah, whatever palette, demonstration uh, that table. was laid down. Folks start following that, and yeah. now it's just out of control. Now, mm. but people say, "Okay, that's how you, that's how you get on." Yeah, and then boom. But that started with a situation we had. So see, that's why I be saying a lot of times, what happened good out of it. When you saw Jeezy and Gucci do the verses together. How did you feel about that? I mean, shoot, that was his company. Yeah. CTE is his company, bro. Do whatever you want to do with it. Yeah. I mean, that's what you want to do with it. <laughs> do with it. My name ain't on nothing to pay, bro. I was an artist. Yeah. So, hey, man, that what you choose to do, that what you choose to do. Did you feel like it was some reconciliation going on at the time, or do you feel like it was just for the uh, for the moment? I don't really feel it was like no reconciliation. I felt like, you know what I'm saying, me, you got Apple, you know what I'm saying? This pandemic is kind of um, slow out here. Hey, man, y'all strain it up, man. Get on out there real quick, man. We need some mooch. Yeah. Go on out there and do that. But that what it, that what it was to me. Uh, that what, I mean, that what it kind of looked like. It's slow. It's oh, this, 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 this pandemic, man. Let's get these views up. Let's get this money. Let's get yeah. this mooch. Yeah. You really, you really can't say no. You, yeah. You're in a contractual agreement. You you get on here and huff and puff and say, motherfucker, man. Folks get up here and huff and puff and say what they're going to do, man. Them folk got <laughs> folk got you binded, man. Yeah, them folk got you binded. Them folk going to take all that moochie. Yours and yours. Mm. Yeah, Break them down had those to do industry that. contracts, though, <laughs> man. Break that down, though. Sure. Uh, um, um, the way our situation was, you know, we was like, um, you know, we we was getting checked check from Def Jam, but it was through CTE. So, like, I, I really didn't. You know what I'm saying? By the time it got to the point where maybe it could have been some more deals to be done, I was already starting to get in trouble and really it didn't go no far. You know what I'm saying? Most checks I got was for USDA and that okay. was it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. When you look at hip hop just as a business though, man, I mean, how do you feel like the business model? Because a lot of folks was feeling like 
when these artists were passing, their catalogs was going through the roof right after their deaths and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, now they hitting them with the double whammy. Now, see, they want the artists to be dead now. One, you ain't got nobody to have to say nothing. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? He can't be opinionated. Yeah. He's gone. Shoot, man, I get these folk, um, these folk families don't really know nothing about contracts. I can write some up and get them that and make sure they get some residual money. They're not going to ask no questions no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shoot, you know what I'm saying? We can, we can train, you know, you know so we can finesse that maneuver. Okay, they'll make sure we get some residual, but they ain't going to do no extra digging as yeah. long as, as long as they get what they getting and we can set it up where we get something with don't nobody know we getting. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That's what's going on with that, man. It's just, just straight up. No, I feel that. I feel that. I mean, script though, what is it that you really want these folks to know about you from the bottom of your heart that you pour out through this music on a regular basis? What is it that you want the audience to take from this interview and just take from what the hell you kicking out here right now? Hey, man, it's pretty much, hey, man, it's another way. Take a sip. Yeah. Take a sip of the yakko. See what's going on. <laughs> see, that damn see what's proving with it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? See what's proving with it. You know, you know, you know, let's... Let's reach for what can bring, you know what I'm saying? Let's reach for something that's, you know, let's reach for something that can make us prosperous. Let's, let's chew in the cud a little bit. Yeah. Let's eat something that can help us grow. Because right now we eat what's consuming death and we can see it. Because the younger, you know what I'm saying? Because people are dying at a grave state. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People dying out here. Exactly. Let's try, um, you know, consider your actions and go for something worse, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and go for life. You know what I'm saying? That's the main thing. It's it, it, it's nothing I want somebody to see about me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just I'm just a person who has considered life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And reaching for life. You know what I'm saying? I could be doing the same thing. It, it ain't ain't nothing about me at this point. You know what I'm saying? That music is really li- uh, lyrical pamphlets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a way where it won't sound like I'm just mm-hmm. hitting you over the head trying to sound like that. <laughs> I'm putting it with the same vibes, the exactly. same beats where you can ride and yoke out to it. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But but what I'm doing is, you know what I'm saying, putting life on it, love on it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, love that. darts, piss your heart, ain't no blood leaking. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These these love darts what we tossing now. Exactly. Ain't no but a little love. I ain't mad at that. Mm. Wick, you got anything else uh, you want to ask you? Yeah, this, uh, this is my last question, man, before I let you get out of here. Is there anybody that, uh, from you know, from your past, when you you know, when you was out there, you know, living in darkness, that has come with you to the light? Mm. You know, mm. any partners, any females, any, anybody that you know of, y'all, y'all, y'all was in the darkness together, now y'all here together, that took this journey with you? Um, what I can say is, um, they've considered and they're supporting me on what I'm doing, and I do have partners who don't do what they used to do no more. And now, have they went on and just got on everything I'm on with it? Right, right. Well, nobody's gonna be on one. Right, 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 right. Now, but they love what I'm doing. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Yeah. They support me. They behind me. But, but it's not many. Yeah, it's not many. No. It's not me. It's probably like. And you beat them over the head and say, you look warm, Negroes. No. Because <laughs> that ain't going to work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That ain't going to work that way. What yeah. they going to do it be like. I'm going know, back to the other side. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> no, what that do, that ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? When you hit, you know what I'm saying? Scrub, how can these folks contact if they looking to work out, if they looking to get some mentorship, some music, and all of this good stuff, man? All right, well, I got the, um, shoot, you can reach me on the um, elect underscore functional training. Okay. That's my fitness. Okay. And then for the um, music and the um, good brew tunes, man, go to um, script underscore puller. You okay, know what I'm yeah. saying? The links, um, the, the, the um, link in the bio to the YouTube and all that stuff on there, links in there on that. So, yeah, yeah man, just tune in, man. You want to get some good training, rock with the kids. You want to hear some good, you know what I'm saying, some good tunes, man, some um, stuff that can revitalize you, yeah. get you right and point you in the right direction. Check me out. That's right. Script. Yep. Appreciate you as always, I, man. I, Wish you nothing but the best. I don't even like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll in the man, middle. give your brother man a hand, man. Give your brother man a hand. I know give your brother man a hand. I know this for Script. Thank you, man. Be on Radio Shout and Big Galaxy Wick. Script pull up. Yeah. We gone.